What's up? What's up? This is your man, TC. This is Mr. Motivator. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. I'm here on this glorious Thursday and Friday to let you know that, yes, you are destined for greatness. You are destined for success. You can make it. I know this is the end of the year. This is the end of 2019, and I always tell you this, 2020 is almost here, and I want to tell you this with passion. Don't you wait to 2020 to start chasing after your dreams. Don't you wait to 2020 to start grinding. No, I want you to finish this year strong. I want you to finish this year accomplishing your goals. I want you to spend the end of this year accomplishing your dreams. You can do it. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it. I'm speaking to that person that's at rock bottom. I'm speaking to that person that has low energy. Maybe you have low energy. Maybe you have no energy. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to that person that's sick. I'm speaking to that person that's grieving. I'm speaking to that person that's dealing with depression. I'm speaking to that person that's going through. You've given up on life. You've given up on your dreams. I want you to tell you that you can bounce back. Pick up your life. Pick up your dreams and go after your dreams. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it. You can do it. Yes, you can. I really believe in you. I know you can do this. You're looking at somebody who's been rejected. You're looking at somebody that's been abandoned. You're looking at somebody that's been abused. You're looking at somebody that's been mistreated. You've been looking at somebody who's been an underdog. You've been you looking at somebody who's been told that I would never amount to anything. But look at me now, and I'm telling you, maybe you are in a negative environment. Maybe you're in an environment to where you have no encouragement. Maybe there's someone that's in your life, people in your life, you're in an environment where they are not encouraging you. You're getting no encouraging. No one is inspiring you. No one is motivating you. You're so stuck in life. You can't seem to shake your past. You can't seem to get over your past. If that's you, I'm telling you that you got to dig down deep within yourself and you got to have that inner drive because champions have that inner drive. Champions have the inner drive. Champions have the championship like mentality. Champions figure out a way on how to win. Champions figure out a way to win the championship. And I'm telling you, you can win the championship. I'm telling you, you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. And no matter what you're going through right now, you can deal with what you're going through. No matter what you're facing right now. Maybe you're facing a loss of a loved one. Maybe you're facing a sickness. Maybe you have someone in you that you love that has cancer. Maybe you have someone that you lost. Maybe you're in a bad relationship and you're dealing with abuse. You you're, you can't get over that bad relationship. You're having problems in your marriage. You're having problems in your family. You're having problems on your job. Maybe you work a job and you're not doing so good on your job. I want to tell you to work harder on your job. You can build up those sales. You can do the sales. Maybe you want to be a CEO of a company. You can be the CEO of a company. Maybe you want to start Start your business. You can start that business. Maybe you want to be a professional athlete. Maybe you want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Maybe you want to win the Super Bowl or NBA championship. Maybe you're an athlete, you're an NBA player, you're an NFL player, and you have a bad injury, and now you're having to bounce back from a bad injury. I want to tell you, you can come back. Maybe you are an athlete and you had an injury that ended your career. That's okay. You can do something else. You are destined for greatness. You have purpose over your life. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are intelligent. You are special. You are intelligent. You are smart. You are awesome. You are great. And lastly, you are phenomenal.
Yes, you wonder why I'm so excited. You wonder why I speak with so much authority. The reason why I speak like this is because of what I've been through. This is my life. This is my real story. I've been through this. I've suffered this. I've bared this. And maybe you're going through something right now. Maybe you're bearing something. Maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're dealing with some things. Maybe you're already successful. Maybe you're already a millionaire, but you're still dealing with depression. Maybe you're already a millionaire, but you're struggling. You're going through some things. There's some things that you've been through in your childhood. Maybe you don't know who your father is. Maybe your father walked out of your life. Maybe, maybe you had a rough childhood. Maybe you've been through, so it's affecting you in your adulthood. I'm telling you to use your pain in your childhood, to use all of your pain, to use your depression as fuel and motivation to become successful. You can do it. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it. I want you to spend the rest of this year chasing after your dreams. I want you to spend the rest of this year going after success. I want you to spend the rest of this year going after greatness because this is your time. This is your moment. This is your season. You can do it. You can accomplish it. I want you to set dreams for yourself and not only just set dreams for yourself, but I want you to dream big. Whatever dream you have, wake up every day and have goals. Have discipline. Have a strategic plan. Tell yourself. Do affirmations. Wake up every day saying what you want to be. Declaring who you want to be. Decreeing who you want to be. Say, I am an entrepreneur. Say, I am a business owner. I am a CEO. I am an athlete. I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. You can do it. Just like my dream is. My dream, let me tell you my dreams. My dream is I want to do motivational speaking in the NBA. I want to do motivational speaking in the NFL. I want to do motivational. I want to go to London. That's my dream is to speak in London, to do motivational speaking in London. I love London. That is my dream is to go to London and speak. And I know I will speak in the NBA. I know I will speak in the NFL. I know I will speak in London because I believe in myself. After everything that I've been through, I have learned this. See, this is what so many people do. i got to say this because this is very important. So many people, they use what they've been through. They use all of their pain. They use their grief. They use their depression. They use their bad life. At, in a way, in a negative way, to stay at rock bottom, to stay depressed, to drink, to do drugs. But don't do that. Use everything that you've been through in a good way as pain. Use your pain. Use your depression. Use your grief. Use your past. Use your mistakes as motivation and fuel to become successful and great so you can become an asset. So you can help somebody else out. You can do this. You can overcome the drug addiction. You can overcome alcoholism. You can overcome the abuse. You can overcome domestic violence. You can overcome any negative thing. Maybe you're in a toxic relationship. Maybe you're in a relationship. Maybe you're in a relationship to where that person is making you do bad stuff. Maybe you're in a relationship where the relationship is toxic and the relationship is causing you to not do anything great in your life. Maybe the person that you're with, they're bringing you down. They're not motivating you. They're not inspiring you to get help. They're not inspiring you to become a better you. If you're in a relationship with somebody that's causing you to drink all the time, that's causing you to do drugs, party all the time, then that is not the person you need to be with. You need to be in a healthy relationship. You need to be in a relationship to where somebody is going to help you to be a better you. You got to be in a relationship to where that person is going to help you to become somebody in life, help you to go after your dreams, help you to become better. Let this be the season that you end toxic relationships, that you surround yourself around greatness, that you surround yourself around people who are going to help you to do great in life. This message today is going to change your life. This message today is going to catapult you and take you to another level. I really want you to pay close attention because this motivational message today is going to change your life. I promise you this. So let's get right into it. Today's message is the process. 
The process and the journey teaches you. The process and the journey teaches you. Principle number one. Finish what you have started. That's principle number one. Maybe you all have enrolled in college, but college has gotten so hard to where you have dropped out. Maybe you tried to start a business and it didn't work out and you failed in starting the business, so you quit. I want you to finish what you started. Maybe you didn't succeed in the first business. Start another business. Maybe you tried out for the professional team. Maybe you tried out for a team as an athlete and you got cut and you didn't make it. I want you to keep working out, keep grinding, keep hustling, and try out for the team again. Maybe you want to be a CEO of a company and it didn't go through. Maybe you want to be a doctor. Maybe you want to be a lawyer. Maybe you want to be a rapper. Maybe you want to be a musician. Maybe you want to be an actor. Whatever it is that you want to be, you must finish what you have started. See, quitting is no longer an option for you. What makes you a failure? I'm going slow today for a reason. This is what makes you a failure. What makes you a failure is whenever you try and then you quit and don't try anymore. What makes you a failure is when you quit and give up. But when you fail and you keep trying, you're not a quitter. Because every time you fail, you should use your failures as teaching lessons to go try again so you can become successful. Why? Because the process and the journey teaches you. Principle number two. Good things, I'm going slow for a reason, y'all, so please take notes. Good things can always come out of bad situations. Good things can always come out of bad situations. Let me share my story. I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability. All throughout high school and middle school, I made bad grades. I had a learning disability all throughout middle school and high school. When I got in high school, I'm excited about this, y'all. When I got in high school, my high school teacher told me that I would never graduate from high school. When I got in high school, I got in trouble. I was the class clown. I didn't, I didn't try because I knew I couldn't because I had a learning disability. So she told me, she said, Tommy, she said, you will not graduate high school. She said, you are not smart enough to go to college. When she said that, that's when I rose up because I've always been the type of person that if you tell me, I can't do something, I will prove you wrong, and I will do exactly what it is that you told me I could not do. And maybe you, maybe this is you. Maybe you've had people in your life to tell you what you can and cannot do. Maybe you've had people in your life to tell you what you can't do. When they tell you, you will never amount to anything. When they tell you, you can't do it, prove them wrong, and do exactly what they told you you could not do. So then I said, Miss Teacher, I said, no offense. I said, I will go to college. I said, I will graduate high school. And I did that. But in 2009, I became homeless. I was living on the streets. I was begging for food. And then six years ago, I was shot three times. I was shot in the back of my head. I was shot in my stomach. I was shot in my groin area. And I was pronounced dead at the hospital. And it seemed like my life was over. It seemed like my life was over. I was pronounced dead. They said, go ahead and do the funeral. But it seemed like it was over. And I'm telling you, you may be going through something in your life right now. You may be in a dead situation. The situation may be so bad and you can't seem to get out of it. You don't know how to get out of it. But just when things seem like they're dead, that's when life happens. Just when it seems like you can't accomplish your dreams, that's when you can accomplish your dreams. And I I ended up graduated from college, I got my bachelor's degree, I got my master's degree, and in 2017, I got my doctoral degree, and I am now Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr., and now I'm also an author. This is my new book titled Dream Big. That's what I'm telling you to, Dream Big. You can go on Amazon and type in Dream Big and type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. The Kindle is $5 and the paperback is $9. You are destined for greatness. That's what I want to tell you. Dream big because you are destined for greatness. The process and the journey will always teach you. Principle number three. 
You are stronger than you think you are. You can do it. That's what you got to realize. You are stronger than you think you are. Maybe you don't have a lot of passion. Maybe you have low energy. Maybe you're going through something right now and you, you don't think you can do it. Maybe you don't feel strong. You don't feel strong enough to accomplish your dreams. You don't think you can do it. You fail so many times in life. You don't think you can accomplish it. You don't have any money to start that business. So you don't think you can start that business. Start that business. Go to college. Graduate from high school. Become a doctor. Become a lawyer. Become a professional athlete. Become the greatest of all time at your craft. Because you are. I want to encourage you. Maybe you're in a position where there's nobody there to encourage you. I want to tell you that you are stronger than you think. You are stronger than you think. You can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to it. If they tell you you can't do it, do it. If you tell yourself you can't do it, say, say to yourself, I can do it. Say to yourself, I will do it. I can, I will, I must. You got to tell yourself, say, I am an entrepreneur. I am a professional athlete. I am a business owner. I am a college graduate. I am a high school graduate. You will get that scholarship. You will achieve greatness. The process and the journey will teach you. Go through the process. Go through the journey because it will teach you. Principle number five. If I'm going slow for a reason. If you can become and be positive in the midst, watch this, of negativity, you become a winner. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say it very slowly so you can get it. If you become and be positive in the midst of negativity, you become a winner. See, you got to be positive in the midst of negativity. Because once you become positive, watch this, in the midst of negativity, that's when you win. Because maybe you are in an environment where there's nothing but negativity. Maybe you're with someone in a relationship with somebody and they're negative. Maybe you're in a relationship with somebody and they tell you that you can't do it. They put you down. They abuse you emotionally. Maybe they're abusing you physically. Get out of that relationship. Get in a relationship with somebody who will love you for you. They will respect you for you. They will motivate you. They will inspire you. They will tell you that you can do it. They will tell you that you can accomplish it. They will help you to get the necessary help that you need to become a better person. If you are in a relationship with somebody, they're pulling you down, they're causing you to drink all the time, they're causing you to do drugs, they're causing you to act out of character, they're causing you to have a bad attitude, they're pulling you down, making you worse in your life, then maybe you need to get them out of your life and get in a relationship with somebody that will respect you, they will love you, they will push you to greatness, they will love you, they will support you, they will encourage you, they will inspire you, and they will motivate you. If you can become and be positive in the midst of negativity, you become a winner. Maybe you have family members who don't believe in you. Maybe you have people in your family, they are so negative, and if you tell them your big dreams, they will put you down and say you can't do it. See, that's what you got to ignore. You got to ignore family members who are being negative towards you. You got to say, okay, don't don't tell them everything that you want to do because the problem with this, you tell people your dreams, you tell the wrong people your dreams and so they don't believe in you, then it hurts you. You got to be careful who you share your dreams with because everybody in your circle, everybody in your family not going to believe you can achieve it. Watch this. Tell the principle number five. Never let people limit you or keep you in a box. Don't let people in your family, this is what, what people in your family, they will try and limit you. People in your family, people who you are in friendships with, people who you are, that you're in relationship with, they will try and limit you, number one. And then number two, they will try and keep you in a box. There's people that had good jobs. They left their jobs. 
to do something great. Now, I know you got to work a job for a season, but you don't have to spend the rest of your life at that job. You can do something in your family that you've never done. You can save money from your job to go after your dreams because you want to own your own time. You don't want to have a boss for the rest of your life that can tell you when and when to come to work, how long you can work, uh, how much money you can make, what you can and cannot do, when to take off, when you come to work. You want to own your own time and be your own boss. So never let people limit you. Never allow people to limit you. Never allow people to keep you in a box. Principle number six. I'm feeling it, y'all. What's done is done. This is an important principle. This is a very important principle. What's done is done. What's gone is gone. What's happened, happened. Your past is your past. Learn from your past. Use your past and move on from your past. Why? Because the process and the journey will teach you. I'm going to say this again. What is, what is done in your past, what happened to you when you were a child, happened to you. What uh, Coming up in a single mother home, it happened. Not knowing your father, it happened. Your parents got a divorce, it happened. You're losing a loved one, you lost your mother or your father to death, it happened. You're grieving, you're grieving. But you got to take all of that pain and all of that hurt, all of that unforgiveness, all of that not forgiving yourself. Because many people, it's not so much that you have unforgiveness, but there are so many people who have done so many bad things to people, and now they're a good person. You can't forgive yourself. But I want to tell you this. Forgive yourself. See, it's also hard to forgive other people, but it's very hard to forgive yourself. And I'm telling you, yes, you did it to people, but you got to let it go. you got to forgive yourself if you're going to walk into greatness. Use it and move on. Principle number seven, it doesn't matter how long it takes to become successful as long as you don't quit in the process. It does not matter how long it takes to become successful. This is the key. Don't quit in the process. The reason why so many people quit in life because it takes so long to become great. The process is taking so long. You started your business and it's taking it a long time to take off. You're, you're, you're trying out as an athlete. You want to go pro, but it's taking so long. Working out every day, working out for hours in the gym, and then, and then only to find out how hard it is to make the team. See, now, now you want to quit, but you cannot quit in the process. No matter how long it takes, you cannot quit. Quit in the process. No matter how long it takes to become great, as long as you don't quit in the process. Principle number eight. This is an important one. Don't stress yourself out if you fail. Now, I'm saying this one really slowly. Please write this down. Don't stress yourself out if you fail. I'm going slow today, y'all, because I want you to get this. I'm going to say it again. Don't stress. See, that's the problem. You're stressing yourself out because it's hard to do it. You're stressing yourself out because it seems impossible. You're stressing yourself out because of what happened in your past. You're stressing yourself out because you're dealing with depression. You're stressing yourself out because of the bad relationships you're in, everything that you're going through, everything that you've been through, all your failures. So watch this. Don't stress yourself out if you fail. Just do your very best and keep grinding until you succeed and become great. To that NFL team, to that NBA team that's having a bad season, that's okay. Keep grinding. Keep working out. It's okay. Your day is coming that you're going to shine. Maybe you're that football team in, the, in, the, in, the, in college. Maybe you're that basketball team in college that's struggling. Or maybe you're that team that's always winning, but it's so hard to keep that winning mentality. Don't stress yourself out if you fail. Just do your very best. Give 120% and keep grinding. That's the key right there. You got to keep grinding. You got to keep fighting until you succeed and become great. And watch this. Even when you become great, and even once you succeed, you got to go to a whole nother level once you get to the top. 
Because see, it's easy to it's it's see it's it's see it's easy to fall. See, you can fall very easily, but it's hard to get to the top. So once you become great and once you become successful, you gotta maintain character. This is what I want to talk about. Once you become successful, once you become great, once you get to the top, this is how you stay at the top. You gotta maintain your character. And you got to maintain your integrity. Because it's easy to get to the top. It's, easy, it's hard to get to the top. But it's very easy to fall. And so many people fall because they lack character and integrity. But character and integrity will keep you at the top. That's most important. Because you can be the most gifted athlete. You can be the most smartest person. You can be the most gifted or talented. But if you lack character and integrity, you will not make it. But there's so many people in the NBA and the NFL who have failed from a lack of character and integrity. That's why Michael Jordan man, is, the most, is the greatest of all time in basketball. LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, they're one of the greatest basketball players of all time because they grind, they work hard, and they maintain that level to stay at the top. Principle number nine, you learn a lot from your failures. We're talking about the process and the journey. I'm now coming to a close. The process and the journey teaches you. That's what you got to understand. Don't focus so much. See, this is important right here. Don't focus so much on trying to get to the top. But focus, here's where your focus should lie. Your focus should lie while you're going through the process, while you're going through the journey of becoming great and successful. Because the process, watch this, watch this, listen to me very closely. The process and the journey will teach you. You got to learn how to become great in the process and the journey. You don't become great once you get great, once you become successful, but while you're going through the process, watch this, and the journey, you become great. You become great in your mind before you become great in the natural. Michael Jordan, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Steve Jobs, LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, all these people I just named, they became great before they became great. Jeff Bezos, the Amazon owner, the Facebook owner, Mark Zuckerberg, they became great in their mind. They became great before they became great. I hope you're catching that. I, I hope you're catching that. Because the process, we're talking about the process and the journey. The process and the journey teaches you because you learn a lot from your failures. Your failures, watch this. Not only do you learn a lot from your failures, but your failures, watch this as I close. Your failures lead you to success and greatness. While you're going through the process and the journey, you will fail at times in the midst of the process and the journey. But because you're failing in the midst of the process and the journey, it is teaching you. So your failures within the process and within the journey, it leads you and teaches you how to be successful and great. As I close, I want to tell you, you don't have too many motivational speakers that will tell you this. But I'm here to tell you that I love you. I love you with all my heart. You guys are my why. I do these motivational videos because I love you. I want to see you prosperous. I want to see you successful. I want to see you get all that you were created to be. You were not just put on this earth just to take up time. 
Don't procrastinate. Don't watch TV all the time. While everybody out, while everybody else is watching TV, while everybody else is on social media, Facebook, Instagram, posting all the time, not using social media for anything, you need to grind. You're going to have to get away from people. You're going to have to cut the phone off. You're going to have to do whatever you have to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to be great. I don't talk to a lot of people anymore. I say to myself, I'm grinding because I have my family and I have you guys. I got to be at my best. I got to be at my A game for my family. I got to be at my A game for you all. Because I want to see you all reach your dreams. I want to see you all become great. I want to see you all become successful. I'm grinding while everybody else is out partying, drinking, doing a bunch of bad things. You need to grind. You need to hustle. Go to college. Graduate high school. Start that business. Become a doctor. Become a nurse. Become a lawyer. Become an entrepreneur. Become a CEO. Become the greatest on your job. Get that promotion on your job. Go after your dreams. Grind. Spend the rest of this year grinding and hustling. And again, I'm the author of the book, Dream Big. You are destined for greatness. You can go on Amazon and get type in Dream Big and then type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. The Kindle is $5 and the paperback is $9. This book, see, you got to dream big. This book will change your life. I'm already getting messages from people telling me that this book is changing their lives. You got to have dreams. You got to dream big. My dream, I'm going to say this again. I say this in every video I do. My dream is to speak in the NBA. My dream is to speak in the NFL. My dream is to speak in London. This is my dream. My dream is to speak in corporations and to continue to speak in colleges and universities and schools and corporations. You got to have a dream and not just have a dream. But dream big. I tell you, I love you. I believe in you. You can accomplish it. You can achieve it. You are phenomenal. I love you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please support me as a motivational speaker. I love you all so much. I need your support. I need your support. Please support me as a motivational speaker. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please spread the word about me all over social media. Share it all over social media. Because I am a motivational speaker that truly cares about you. I love you. I want to see you be great. I want to see you become successful. I want to see you become great. I want to see you chase your dreams. I want to see your dreams become a reality. If I could jump through this camera and motivate you and inspire you, I would do it. That's how bad I want you to do it. That's how bad I want you to achieve it. And if you're in a bad relationship, if you are in a relationship, see, you gotta, I want to say this and I'll close. See, the reason why so many people get in bad relationships is this. It's because they don't love themselves. They don't value themselves. They have low self-esteem. They don't believe in themselves. So they attract negativity. They attract the wrong people in their lives. But if you become positive, if you learn to love yourself, if you know that you are have a lot of value, if you uh, don't have low self-esteem, if you believe in yourself, you will settle for a better person who will love you, treat you right, be faithful to you, and achieve, help you to achieve your dreams and your goals and to be a better you. I love you.